In this video, let's see how to download and set up Wildflight 20.0.0 final. First, you have to visit wildflight.org slash downloads. And uh, these are the various options you have. So the one that I am interested in is the latest one. So go ahead and download this zip file. I already have downloaded and kept on my desktop. As you can see that I've downloaded and even I have unzipped the same thing. So once you unzip that, if you open the folder, you will see that there is a bin directory and a lot of bat files for Windows and SH files for uh, Linux Mac OS. So the one that we have to run is the standalone.bat on Windows and standalone.sh on uh, Unix based platforms. So to run the same thing on uh, Microsoft Windows, you can simply double click the bat file. But on uh, Linux and uh, Mac OS, we have to open a terminal. I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, CD into my desktop, wildfly 20.0.0.final slash bin. And all I have to do is to say dot slash standalone dot sh. Press enter. This way of execution works even in Windows as well. Now it says that uh, it has been started and the HTTP management interface is there in the localhost 9990. However, the actual home page is localhost 8080. So I'm going to open a new tab, localhost 8080. And you can see you get a welcome screen from Wildfly and you can click on the administration console. When you click on that, it says here, uh, as you can see on the address bar, it says there is an error. Uh, it says here your uh, wildfly application server is running however you have not added any users to be able to access the admin console uh, to add a new user execute the add user.sh or in case of windows it would be a dot bat file and then you follow the the instructions given once it is done you come back and start again so i have to go back to my terminal and then stop that and then you have to run the add user.sh. So I'll have to say dot slash add user.sh. So do you want to create a management user or application user? Management user will also be able to add new users and other stuff. An application user is the one that can access the deployed applications. Also, you can see that there is a, a already a default choice over here, A. So if I simply press enter, it's assumed as A. Uh, enter the details of the new user to add and by default uh, the management realm is what actually it will be added to I'm going to give the username as admin and uh, Then it says admin already exists and it's disabled So would you like to update an existing user password and roles or enable existing user or type a new username? So I'm going to type the username as we know I believe I should have selected the type as a C and press enter uh, the new username is going to be Vinod. I press enter and the password recommendation. They say that you have to use a lot of combination of characters. I'm going to give the password as welcome hash one, two, three, press enter. And again, I have to type what groups you want the users to belong to. Please enter a comma separated list or leave a blank for none. For the time being, I'm going to say none. So is this information correct? I'll say yes, press enter. And uh, then it's going to say is the new user going to be used for one AS? AS is application server process to connect to another application server process. I can say no for the time being and the job is done. Now that the user is added, let me clear the screen, run the standalone.sh once more. So once it's done, let's go to Chrome, refresh this once more or click on try again. And now it's, it's taking me to the console, the username I gave is Vinod, password is welcome hash 123, sign in. So now we are inside the administration console.